Magdalena. Um, this is this is the toughest of the semi-finals. Yeah, so Izora Chibu, age 29, world rank number six, up against the world rank number one, Ina Deriglazova, age 31. And there is Deriglazova. Izora Tibu was born in Guadeloupe, lives now in Paris. She actually switched from uh, classical dance. She was a dancer before she was a fencer. Uh, she actually moved from Paris to uh, move in with her partner, uh, one of the men's semi-finalists, Race in Bowdoin, training together during the lockdown, living with their uh, physical trainer, actually, in the same house so they could keep their fitness up. Tibu has completed in two Olympic Games, London and Rio, fifth in London, 16th in Rio. Silver medalist at the World Championships in Wuxi in the individual competition, a bronze medalist in Leipzig in the World Championships and won the last Grand Prix in Turin, Italy in February of 2020. And she's up against Ina Deriglazova, the gold medalist from Rio, um, who has won two individual World Championship golds. I'll make that three actually, yeah, because she won in Budapest, didn't she? So, one in Moscow 2015, in Leipzig 2017, and in uh, Budapest. Both amazing fences, but you know, you've got to say, Derek Glatzover's footwork is just mesmerizing. It looks simple, uh, but the, the change of speed, the use of the uh, front the back foot advance makes a big difference to her fencing it what it, it's what most fencers struggle with on the attack which is why most fencers will let her play her game because they're too worried about uh, attacking from too far away against her tb is one of those that won't be scared of attacking her though picking up the blade this time You see, she collects the blade on the way through the attack there. All square. Referee Vitkowski managing the fences perfectly. Beautiful power of pass there. Uh, Tibu saying two touches of the blade, so she thought she got it back. I'm not sure she even got a light up there, maybe off target. Just creeping into distance too close that time. And that's what I mean about Derek Latsova's footwork. You think you're safe. You think you're okay. But as you close the distance, you realize all of a sudden she hasn't done a real step back, which she's only moved her back foot. And Derek Latsova striking back into a two-point lead. Close quarters. Going to give this as power or a pass for the right for you know, Derek Latsova. You can't really try and get into a battle of the blades like that with uh, in a Derek Latsova, you're very likely to come off second best. Again, beautiful distance there. She just made her opponent think that she was running away. But watch that step on the spot. It's not. She moves her back foot 
backwards and a front foot stays in the same place she brings the back foot forwards and all of a sudden you're on top of her and your, your points nowhere near the target it's beautiful stuff from uh, the russian now changing it to a step in step back pick up the blade find the right of the way and your opponent's coming forwards at that point because they think they have the right of the way and you could just land a very simple attack beautifully constructed fight so far from the russian yeah it really is a demonstration of fencing from Ina Steriglasova. It's so clever. It looks so simple, but it's so well put together. She stepped in, lured the attack, and by the time Tibus is going for what she thinks is her right of way, boom, she's been hit. <laughs> I mean, it's phenomenal. And this is, you know, these are two very, very highly ranked fences. One thing I will say is, uh, when you look at head-to-heads against uh, Ina Derek Latsova, you're wondering what, how big a gap she has against you, what, how much of a percentage lead she has in the uh, head-to-heads. Uh, Tibus actually leads their head-to-heads five wins to four. So not over yet, but Tibus has to have a real proper think about how she's going to manage this fight from now. Better from Tibus, just staying that half step further away. Referee calling halt because he'd lost the action. Yeah, I'm glad he did that because I wasn't sure what that was going on. One light on the box. Tibus yeah. is going to have a weapon check for sure. And you look at how it's bent. She definitely hit something. Oh, she's just gone, but she's, just, she's probably just hit that clip there. There. Wow. That is unlucky. Good call. Eagle-eyed Bashir in the box there, spotting that one. To be fair, it was the only real explanation I had from no light coming up on the box. Well, it could have been a faulty weapon. Yes, that is true. So, 8-1. It's a Derek Latsova demolition. It really is, isn't it? I didn't expect this one to be so one way. And... I suppose half the problem for uh, Issa is that she's uh, she can't really slow the fight down because that's really playing into Derek Latsova's A game. Close quarters. Luckily, Tibu's blade was pushed down onto the unearthed, unearthed part of the podium strip and brought up that uh, white light. So she's gone through, she's done just a slight change in the way that she's attacking, a much shorter first step. Gives herself time then to look for which part of the target she's going for before landing. But she's going, she's going to have to have the fight at this speed rather than the initial speed. Brilliant. That's really clever. She stepped in, drew the attack from Derek Latsova, stepped away, made her miss using distance, and then jumped in with a nice, simple attack. It's not over. It's not over, this one. Lured, lured her in. Yeah. And Definitely instead of going for the target. There, wasn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Lured her into that. Lovely. Right, now, does Derek Latsova pick up the right of way here?
referee must be looking at the video at this stage. I, I'm not convinced that Derek Lutz... So De Timu definitely finished short, but I'm not convinced Derek Lutzova picked up the right away. She didn't take the opportunity. And I think Timu's second attack is actually good here. I think this hit's going to go to Timu's. On the continuation. Well, it, it, it's, it's sort of a continuation. It's actually a second, a second attack. It's a new attack. Yeah. So tide turning slightly for Tibus. Close quarters. Off target. So much on the blade from uh, in a Derek Let's Over. Oh, she lost her mask. But she has. Yeah. That's flown off somewhere. It's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, it's not there. So they're going to have to have Where a little hunt. Go? <laughs> going to have a little hunt around. To find so the mask it. clip, if you're new to fencing, the mask clip basically um, makes that uh, bib of the mask a part of the target area. It wires it up. And uh, if it's not there, then obviously Derek gets over has a big advantage because if she's hit there, then it won't score. So Tibu completely within her rights to stop that. He beats the blade. No light from T. Bruce, so easy call for Vitkowski in the end, mm. but uh, it would have been Derek Latsovas anyway. And uh, teammate there sitting in the uh, coach's box. And that is time in the first period. And uh, yeah, comfortable from the reigning Olympic champion and world number one. Much more comfortable than we thought it was going to be, to be fair. Yeah, I, th I think uh, the, what's happened here is that uh, Doug Lutzover has, has managed to control Tibu's aggression right at the beginning and come away with a whole bunch of hits. Uh, she's done it with good construction of footwork, basically stepping in, stepping back, drawing the attack, making it fall short, and then picking up the attack. Good power of repost, taking the blade as she's stepping backwards and then able to spring immediately forwards on the repost. And then that hit there, uh, that's a thing of beauty where she's made her opponent stop her attack and then she's just landed a very simple counter-attack and Tibus has already given up on her attack at that point, even though she had the right of way. Really, really good stuff. But Tibu did start to show signs of a comeback there by slowing down the attack at the beginning, creating space for herself to land. And, you know, it's not over yet, but you wouldn't want to be this far down against an Adero Glatsova at no. any stage of the fight. Just look at that, the feet, the movement on the feet. That sometimes okay. she's making steps and you're, you, it makes your opponent think you're stepping away, but she's actually stepping on the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> and you're drawing your opponent closer to you for you uh, to lure them in and then snap and score counters and parry repost. So 10-4 to score as we go into the second period. Fifteen the target if you're new to fencing. That's the remise of the attack that time. She's so fast. She misses the first one, and, and already she's doing a faint disengage on the second one, and Tibu's still chasing after it, even though she has the right of way. And this is a really experienced French fencer. Attack still off target from the left. That's the attack for me for Tibu. That's the one that she's got to go for. Okay, she hit off target that time, but just that slower step at the beginning. She's 
just making Derek Lutz over think now, but uh, don't be fooled. Derek Lutz over is more than capable of changing her tactics. So Derek Lutz over goes on on the attack. And again, very slow, very steady, draws the counter attack and, and then, then just finishes. Yeah, lightning farts the finish. So now Derek Lutzova says, I'm going to come after you. But the parry repost is good, but you can just see from the body language of Sora Tibu that she's not really at the races at the moment. Always going to be given, always going to be given. And now Issa Tibus calls for a video review. And what Tibus is looking for is Derek Ratsova, Cheche Lefer, as they say, searching for the blade. It kind of does look like that at the end because she's looking to block out. But for me, she never gives up yeah. the right away, the Russian. If you step forward and you look for your opponent's blade, you're trying to beat their blade with yours, uh, then you, w you aren't attacking. You can't be, uh, by definition of what, uh, what an attack looks like. The attack is the point yeah. going towards the target in a, a constantly flowing movement until it ends. Uh, so if you look for the blade, it's the other person's right of way. And he's given that as attack. Touche for Derek Latsova, which is correct. So, you know, Derek Lutsova only two points away now from seeing this out and booking her place in the final. Tibu's coming out on the original uh, tactic, sharp, fast attacks off the line. She lands it this time. I don't think uh, Derek Lutsova was ready for that. And this time Derek Lutsova misses. Hmm. Now, was that Tibu turning her body and making her miss? Cramp, I think. Oh, I know she took a knock on the foot from the blade. Okay. She's taken a crack across the off the top of the foot, yeah. along the, uh, the tendons that run along the top of the foot. There can be quite painful. Yeah, accidental, of course. You can see, yeah, Derek Lutzova has been made to do a bit of work. Yeah. The ice queen, she is warmed up, but she is certainly not going to melt. Not when you've got a 13 8 lead. Still attack from the left off target. We've got a persistent light in uh, Derek Letsova's mask, so there's a technical fault. I think the wires probably come out mm. from the wireless uh, system. There'll be a little cable. You see that box on the back of the clip over the top of the head? There'll be a wire coming out of somewhere, and they're still trying to okay. fix that. There you go. Patience now from Derek Lutzova. Perhaps a bit too much. She doesn't want to open the door here by settling down. And 
T-Boost has plenty of time here, so she doesn't need to rush. I, I think Aeroglot's over. should probably try and close this one out. Lure her opponent in by being just a little bit more proactive. This is ominous. Two beats of the blade for me. The second one comes from the right. It's in a Dereglatz overs. Let's have a look at this. Pizza blade there. Tibu did the first one, yeah. and that was the second we saw. And that beat gives you the right of way. It passes the ball to you for you to shoot at the goal. So just one more needed for Ina Dereglatsova to see Ooh. this through and to book her place in the final. I wonder what the odds are on her for Olympic gold. Well, look, I'm looking at this thinking well, she's, she's gone out uh, when we had the hiatus from uh, international sport. She went out as number one. If anything, I think she's come back and she's even better. Now, Blade is met for me by Derek Latsova, and even though Isora Tibu is sharp, I think Derek Latsova has picked up the blade, she's touched her opponent's blade yeah. actively, she's got the right of way, and Tibu has just run on to the riposte. There's the beat. Now, yeah. at the moment, it's Derek Latsova's right of way. Nothing happens to change that. Nothing for me happens to change that. That's a good call from Andre Witkowski. He's been asked to go and have a look at the video. But I think even t if she was to look at that uh, replay, she would say, well, if I was Derek Glatzova, I'd want that hit. So you, you see,